A very good evening to you. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. Trusting that you've had a fantastic and amazing day. It is the 15th of September 2020. A very fine Tuesday. Hoping that you're well. My name is Ram Maguko. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. We are broadcasting live here from the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. This is the stand. Now, Article 55 of the 2010 Constitution holds that the state shall be able to access relevant be social, economic, access employment and are protected from exploitation. This is under Article 55 of the 2010 Constitution. This, this evening, we talk about the space of the youth in Kenyan politics and in leadership. What exactly is the space of the Kenyan youth? This morning, this evening, I'm He, she is an aspirant from Musambweni constituency. Remember, Musambweni and also the founder of Hope Avenue. She shall be joining me this evening tonight to give us her take in regards to the space of the youth in Kenyan politics. So, Moshimiwa, uh, Karibu Sana, you can take the stand. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. Now, I'm giving you two minutes to address the nation, give them your stand. What is the space of the Kenyan youth in politics? Asante sana Ram Aguko kwa nafasi hii kuzungumza na kuzungumza haswa kwa niaba ya vijana wote Kenya hii. Jina langu naitwa Charlotte Mariam, ni mgombea wa kiti cha ubunge eneo bunge la Msambweni. Kwanza kabisa Mayuti tumechukua tukichukuliwa hivi hivi. Mayuti kila siku tunambiwa sisi ndiyo viongozi wa kesho lakini nafasi hatupatiwi. Mayuti sisi tumekuwa tukitumika kila siku wakati wa uchaguzi tunatumika kueneza chuki, kueneza fujo, kueneza propaganda zisizo stahili. Kwa hiyo raundi hii tumesema kama Mayuti Hii nchi ni yetu na tunataka kuipigania. Mimi kama mgombea wa kiti cha ubunge eneo bunge la Msambweni, ningeomba kuzungumza na mheshimiwa rais. Mheshimiwa rais, katika janga hili la corona, najua limeathiri nchi nzima, lakini kumbuka vijana haswa Msambweni constituency mheshimiwa rais wamepoteza kazi asilimia sitini na tano na zaidi. Mheshimiwa rais Kuna mbinu ambazo tunaweza kushikilia mheshimiwa rais kupatia vijana hope pale msambweni kuwa ni kweli unatuthamini na kuwa ni kweli unatupenda. Kwa mfano, shule zinaenda kufunguliwa hivi karibuni kama vile mheshimiwa Magoha alivotamka. Mheshimiwa rais tuanzishe door to door campaign. Vijana hawana kazi, chukua vijana, waanzishe door to door campaign ya kuimiza vijana wetu, kuimiza watoto wetu warudi shuleni na pia wazazi wetu waimize watoto warudi shuleni mheshimiwa rais. Vile vile nitachukua nafasi hii kwa sababu nisipolizungumzia ili swala haitakuwa mimi nimefanya haki haswa kwa wale mayuto walionituma kutoka msambweni. Tunajua kuna BBI and we know Reggae is on a break. Mwishimiwa raisi na ndugi yako, Raila Amola Odinga. Tafadhali tuhusishe sisi vijana katika ile BBI. Angazia maswala ya unemployment. Angazia maswala ya education. Na mwishimiwa raisi, sisi utajua kama youth, utakapo tushika mkono na utupatia empowerment ile ineo staili. Tutakushikilia mkono because your legacy, mwishimiwa raisi will be judged on how you will handle this COVID-19 pandemic na vile utakavo revive hii economy yetu mweshimiwa rais. Azande sana. Kidogo, Ram Aguko. You have 30 seconds. Na mimi naomba hivi. Hatutake siyasa ya fujo. Mweshimiwa rais, wewe kama rais yu wetu tunakupenda. 
tunataka a proper handshake between you, yeah. Raila Amolo Odinga, mm -hmm. and His Excellency the Deputy President William Samoei Ruto. Kwa sababu, your legacy depends on this. Utayacha hii nchi katika hali ya fujo, mm -hmm. na sisi kama youth, we will never forgive you. Alright, thank you very much, Charlotte. Uh, karibu unge, uh, Kiti, remember this is the stand. Now joining me also next is Dr. Samuel Oliech Omolo. He is also an aspirant, but from uh, all the way in Muhoroni constituency. He is one man who is also giving us the stand. Uh, Dr. Karibu Sana, now I, I would like to give you two minutes. Uh, give us you, your stand. What is the space of the Kenyan youth in uh, leadership? Your time starts right now. Uh, thank you very much, Aguko, my fellow Kenyans, uh, ladies and gentlemen. To our beautiful country, Kenya, the republic that we've loved so much, uh, the country that we've worked for, we are not the same as we were 100 years ago. Kenya has made so many strides, and in the 21st century, we are facing challenges, COVID-19 being one of them. As a young person coming from Muhoroni constituency, we must carry the hope of this republic and of the globe and so many young people, millions and millions of young people looking at us right now. As I look at this camera, I want to preach hope to young people. Kenya has gone through the dogs in the year 2007. This is not the first time we face challenges as a republic, but we can bounce back. It's in our DNA. We are urging Mr. President the tranquility that we are enjoying from my hometown in Muhoroni to Mombasa to all the way to Loitoktok in our borders. Let's enjoy because of the handshake. Handshake is good for the republic. I can drive comfortably across our countries and peace and tranquility translates to business and security in our areas. To our young people, there is hope beyond just money. We need economic empowerment. We need to be educated. We need to be stable in terms of what we are doing, our finances, and we have to join politics to sustain and take our rightful position mm -hmm. in this republic. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Samuel. And what is exactly your stand? The hashtag is the stand KE at Y254 channel on Twitter at Ram Aguko. The stand starts right now. And this is where we say it as it is. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Karibu uh, Nisana. You've uh, given the Kenyans your stand. And uh, you've already highlighted a lot of issues mm -hmm. that uh, are very important. Mm -hmm. And we will be able to dwell on them. Mm -hmm. to Ayote. Yes, now, let's start with the leadership first of all. How can we uh, be able to ensure that the youths are absorbed into leadership, especially looking at the political arena as it is right now. How can all youths be absorbed in leadership? Let me start with you, Charlie. Uh, first of all, uh, Ram, eh? mm. when we are talking about the two-thirds agenda, mm. let us please take notice of the fact that the youth are also being marginalized. So is it possible for the youth to be in, in, included in, the, in, in that conversation? How are they being it, ma marginalized? They're being marginalized because if, uh, if we look at uh, the two-thirds gender rule, mm -hmm. that is now, I think, uh, it's the new wave now, uh, so to speak, Rame. Mm -hmm. um, the youths are not being involved in the boardroom uh, discussions. We are just taken as, as though... Uh, we cannot really bring the change that uh, the country needs. And it is time to know and to take note of the fact that the youth have fresh ideas and the youth can bring change in this country. Mm -hmm. We demand to be included in that conversation of change. Mm -hmm. When we are talking about BBI, it is very, I have not heard myself either the president or Raila Amolodinga talking about the youth. And when, we, when I heard Gladys Cholet and the likes talking on, 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 on the cities and the other day, the youth were not being, um, 
discussed more in, in, the, in the topics there. Mm. So I think it is time that when we are talking about women being included in decision making uh, topics, we also need to fight for the space for the youth to be included in important conversations, not just to be used when, when we need chaos in the country, uh, when we need to mobilize youths and we need drunkards and, and what have you, and then there you will see so many youths. And let me tell you something, uh, Ram. Eh? The other day, an opponent of mine back in Msambweni said, Charlotte is going nowhere because she's always with youths. And you know youths are not voters. And then it occurred to me that could be this is the main reason why when we get to parliament, why when we elect our, our governors, our senators, mm. they don't remember the youths, including the president himself. We have very beautiful policies, Ram. But the youths are not being taken seriously in this country. Do you agree with her? What is your take? Are the youths marginalized? Are they being taken seriously? Uh, thank you very much uh, for that wonderful question. I can't agree more with uh, what my colleague is saying. That's the truth. Yeah. Uh, but we have to underscore the fact that uh, as young people of the Republic and of the world, we have to talk at capacity of the world because this is a global community. We are highly interconnected with the world. We are not like the way we used to be a hundred years. Uh, fr from now. We are much more developed. We have more information than what our grandparents used to have. Mm. So what do we do with this uh, kind of information? Young people form 25% uh, of this population. And that's quite a big margin. And these are, these are factory that can be tapped into to grow this economy. If we are to talk about d d uh, double digit growth in mm. any economy in the world. Mm -hmm. So for young people, uh, they've been marginalized for quite some time. But that, that's not the issue. The issue is how can we talk and be part of the discussion and be on the table. Mm -hmm. Young people have fears, what we call fear of the unknown. We have to come out of our shell, talk and build our networks. Don't join networks that you don't belong as young people and be clapping for the establishment that's there. If, if, if these networks exist, yes. and, 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 and I'm, I, I'm getting you clearly, yes. that the networks exist, but you're saying that the youths are not being involved, then how then can we ignore the fact that the, the platforms are there, yet the youths also need to acknowledge the fact that they can be able to grab the opportunities? I had one famous leader say that leadership is not given, it is taken. What do you think about that? <laughs> Let me tell you, Ram. Uh -huh. my, my, uh, should I call him a colleague or what? Eh? Uh -huh. He said that the youth form 25% of, of the population of this country today. I beg to differ with him. I think it's actually 70%. Are we together? The platforms are there. The policies are there. But are we following those, these policies? Are we living mm -hmm. up to them? Are we serious with the fact that we, uh, we, we are... Like we take the youth seriously the way they are supposed to be taken, Ram. That is not true. Are the youth doing what is necessary for them Le to let be me taken finish. seriously? Let me finish. Yes, we are. As, and, and especially the youth who are coming up, for example, myself, to claim and to, and, and, and to uh, stamp foot into these uh, political uh, seats. We are not getting the platforms that are needed. We do not have the enough support that we need from these people, mm. from, from uh, the, poli the polit uh, political parties and, and what have you. We are only being used there as, as, as an envelope to cover up for a lot of things. And when we get to uh, parliament or when we get to uh, these positions that we are seeking for, that is the time now these other political uh, leaders they take advantage of us because we have to go to them to to look for funds for example so now we have to speak to their tunes and i will give a very uh, viable example of, of senator malala senator malala now is at loggerheads with with his political party leader mudavadi why because he's of different opinion and mudavadi feels like uh, he's the he's the one who who should be listened to because he's the one who gave the funds and everything to senator malala but sen so sen 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 senator malala had had gone to uh, an event the se one event the same same event that the party leader attended and he said that he's going to his father to apologize <laughs> to apologize for what Mm. I'm asking you to apologize for what? I'm sorry. 
because of the issues that happened. He said that to Lisema Maneno Kiakisiasa. And he, in his own words, he said, Wacha ni kuambie. Wacha ni kuambie. And, Muda, and, and Honorable Mudavadi said that as a father, he will forgive his son. Ni, subiri ni kuambie ndugi yangu. Mm -hmm. Sasa hivi kwa mfano wewe kama Ram Aguko, wewe ni political party leader wangu kwa mfano. Mm. Mimi kama youth nahisi kuwa niko na sauti na niko na nguvu ya kuleta mabadiliko na niko na ajenda nzuri nzuri kwa ajili ya kuleta mabadiliko haswa kwa sababu ya mayuti wenzangu. Lakini wewe utaniambia mimi niko na kitu ambacho wewe hauna ambayo ni hela na unipatia hiyo hela kwa sababu itanipatia nguvu ya kupigania kitu fulani. Alafu sasa mimi nikijitokeza kupigania haki ya mayuti sasa wewe utakuja unaambia mimi nilikwambia useme hivi nisemi hivi. And that is the case with Senator Malala ndugu yangu. Do you agree with what she say? I agree with her uh, 100% what mm. she's saying. But w what I have to add my voice on to is that we strongly say mm. that policies are there to be followed mm. in a republic, but everyone pulls towards their side. Exactly. So as young people, I was building on uh, one conversation that we have to build our own networks. Mm. Yeah. If you look at Kenya at independent, with uh, Mze Jomo Kenyatta and uh, Vice President uh, Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga, mm. they utilized young people, the likes of Moekibaki, Tom Boyer, name them. Mm. And they implemented the blueprint of the Republic and what, that's what we are using today. Mm. So if we look back and turn back the hands of time and look back where we started, now we have an opportunity mm. in the handshake. And I'll tell you strongly that mm. with the handshake, there's peace and tranquility. You can move across the country. It's time for the president and the honorable prime minister and our leaders to replicate or turn back the hands of time and take us back where the leadership was there. But the young people were utilized. You can't ch achieve this, uh, my brother Fred, mm -hmm. without fundamentals mm. and basic things. One. You cannot implement youth agenda with a proper education. Exactly. Because I meet you on the street, what's your skill? I want a job from you, what's your skill? What are you trained on? Mm. You cannot empower young people mm. without talking about economy. The economy is in tatters, but there's hope. We have to preach hope to our young people. You cannot talk about empowering the youth without talking about politics and religion. And you cannot talk about young people without talking about their uh, psychological status mm. and the only way we can do that and turn around things in this republic mm. is what we are going to do in Muroni mm. and to the world we need what we call system approach to social engineering mm. social engineering even if you give young people create uh, departments and uh, ministries for them and give them billions tons mm. of billions mm. they will not utilize them well because they are not prepared here so you have to do social engineering mm. and prepare young people mm. for leadership. Mm. You have to take up your space, but you must have a skill. Mm. Not necessarily school skill. Mm. We have uh, competency-based competency education. Competency education, and it's coming on board, rolling out well. Mm. We have to tap into this. So for young people, we must only preach hope, but to the government. La last last to week. Just, mm. just finalizing. To the government, uh -huh. let us not entertain masquerades mm. in the name of youths. We must have real youths as defined in the constitution driving the youth agenda. You know, mm. you know, um, um, uh, excuse me, uh, mm. Ram, eh? mm. uh, my colleague here talked about um, giving hope to the youth and speaking the message of hope. Yeah. It is one thing to bring me to, to, to tell the youth that you know there is hope and this and that and that. But again, are we implementing our policies? Ram. Let us look at Senator Orengo and the few, even Raila Molo Dinga and Uhuru Muyai Kenyatta. They were once youths and they were speaking the same message. For Senator Orengo and the likes, they have been uh, the advocates of hope and revolution for this country for the longest time. But how come when they are now in the, those positions, they are not speaking the message of, of empowering the youths as needed be? Mr. Ram, the, um, it is time. Last week, last week I had, a, 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 let, me, let me ask my director to, to bring this clip up. I had an interview with Dr. Ekuro Kot, who is a part leader of Third Way, okay. um, uh, 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 Third Way Alliance. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be pulling up that clip and what he said in regards to this subject matter. So sure, pick, it, sure. uh, pick, pick it up from, from where you left. So you, you feel that um, 
we do not have the policies or are the policies there? What are the outcomes see, of uh, you know this youth development Kenyans policies? Kenyans are good. Kenyans and our leaders are good at uh, implementing and uh, bringing forth ideas and, and putting forth policies. Sorry, we be, but we're not good at implementing these policies and okay. the ideas, okay. Mr. Ram. And now, let's, let, let's go to that clip and then uh, we will see if mm. your opinion changes. Take okay. a look at this. To the youths, because you talked about the power be belonging to the people. Mm -hmm. Do you think the Kenyan youth understands this fact? Well, to be honest, they ought to understand because I think the unfortunate thing about the Kenyan youth is that they have constantly been manipulated by the usual old political class. Mm. And I think until when the youth of Kenya actually realize that they are actually Kenya today and Kenya tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I like giving a very tired example that when I was myself in, I maybe in nursery, primary, secondary, mm -hmm. up to university level, I kept on hearing this tired narrative that you are tomorrow's leaders. And mm -hmm. I've asked myself, when honestly is this tomorrow going to come? Tomorrow will never come. So my advice to the youth of Kenya is, <laughs> because your real life struggles are felt now, not even today. Right now as we speak Ram with you, mm -hmm. there are people who are going to bed hungry. There are people who are so jobless, they don't even know what to do tomorrow. There are people who are struggling with uh, school loans. There are people who are just struggling with, with health care, education. They are out of school. So our problems are felt now. Mm -hmm. Even today as we go to bed, people will be stressed. People are co contemplating suicide because the problems are felt today. So this nonsense of saying that you are tomorrow's leaders, the youth of this country needs to rise up, wake up, and take over the mantle of leadership. Mm -hmm. It is happening elsewhere in the world. It's only in Kenya where the youth are being assembled in Uhuru Park, told uh, uh, to pick stones. Mm -hmm. That is Dr. Ikuro Kot mm -hmm. saying that the youth needs to stand up. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? No, let, let me come to her because I was just uh, Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, I agree with uh, Dr. Kot on, on his uh, talk and what he claims yeah yeah uh, he's part of the leadership because he's vied in this republic and we don't just want empty talks uh, yeah. to our young people we have to look at our young people in the face yeah. and tell them the truth as it yeah. is if it's white it's white the main problem dogging this republic is not lack of policy we have the best Implementation. kenya we yeah. have benchmarked with the best We've been marked in Singapore and people go on trips, we go to the US, we go to all the best nation. Mm -hmm. And remember in 1963, Singapore came here to benchmark with us. The only thing is implementation. We cannot wait for anyone to come from anywhere to come and implement our policies. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, I agree with what my, my sister is saying. Uh, the leaders of yesterday, like uh, Pio Gama Pinto, Young mm. G. Morango, mm. uh, Young Kibaki, Young Railo Dinga, and others, they did their part. Mm. But the scenario is different mm. today. We are not fighting a regime that uh, may be dictatorial. Mm. We are talking about a global community of internet, of big data, mm. of big security, yeah, of insecurity, and terrorism. Things have changed. A world where you have the whole globe in your palm mm. with data and you can either make the best out of it mm. or destroy or create something mm. fast. But uh, fast forward, I can say, as young people, we must be part and parcel of the political class. How, how has it been for you as a young man, as a youth, yes. vying for a political seat talking to polit political leaders and trying to find your space in leadership? I didn't find my space. Uh -huh. We have our constitution yes. stating clearly the age requirement that you have to meet to vie for mm. any position in Kenya. Mm. So my policy, when I meet you and ask me, do you want to vie? I tell you, I am vying. You are? Not that I want to. I am vying for this <laughs> position. And that's the straight in the eye. So you take your own position without waiting for anyone to tell you to and, take and, up your position. And isn't that the problem? That youths want to be given these positions? Is that, do you think that is true? Before, before I, I come to your question, Ram, eh? mm. we need to have a sober conversation as the youth in this country. Yes. As I stated earlier, I said, eh? 
the likes of uh, Baba Jimmy, the, the, you know, Rengo, uh, Raila, and whatnot, they have been youths, and they have been speaking the exact language that we are speaking now. They have been sending a message of hope. They have been cheering and jeering in some instances, all in the name of bringing the youth into the front line. But Hatupatiwi nafasi kwa nini? Kama wao walikuwa siku moja wako mayuti ni walikuwa nazungumza the same language tunazungumza za hizi. Kwa nini kuna policies nzuri nzuri sana za kutupatia sisi youth nguvu lakini hizo policies hazifuatwi ndugu yangu. Ndipo hivi mimi nasema. This is the time that our president needs to leave a legacy. What legacy are we leaving for those who are coming after us? Let me, let me mention uh, one fact that we have youths, we have young parliamentarians who are sitting as we speak. Young members of parliament, young senators, and they have been caught in the, in the wrong side yeah. in most occasions. Let me give an example of uh, what, what happened recently. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's even public knowledge. The Muria Dikir, member of parliament, hmm. who found himself in police, police custody on September 6th, over his own controversial remarks. We have other leaders who have found themselves in uh, similar positions. We, to, we, we talk about Stare, member of parliament, Charles Njagua, who found himself also in, uh, uh, on July 29th arrested of allegations of incitement. Gatundu South, member of parliament, Moses Kuria. We have uh, uh, member of parliament, Oscar Suti. All of them are youths who already have uh, come positions. On, excuse me. Let me let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You know, it is very wrong for this country to look at uh, young parliamentarians mm -hmm. and just put a spotlight at them. That when they just do something very little, mm -hmm. and then they when they're caught in the bad side of the law, mm -hmm. and then it becomes news. Are you trying to tell mm -hmm. me that uh, all these others that are not youths have never been caught in the in the wrong side of the law? How should they look at it? In your view, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. When we want to look at all the negative things that one, have, one has done, let us not dwell on that. Let us also dwell on the good things that they have done for their constituents or their ver the various seats that, that they man. Come on, Ram. All right, uh, all right. To, to contribute to that... Uh, I, 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 I will come to you. Let's first of all take a break and then we'll come to you. Okay. Remember, the hashtag is the stand KE. Mm -hmm.